guys, this is Kuki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I put together a gift idea for a baby shower. I hope you like watching the process of how I put everything together. It takes a bit longer than usual today because there's so many different aspects to the present. I hope you enjoy watching the process. Maybe it inspires you for whenever you have to make a little present for a baby shower. You don't have to make the whole thing. The whole thing is rather big, but you can just use some elements of it and put your own baby shower present together. I enjoyed the whole process starting from picking out the different presents, unwrapping them, which as you know is one of my favorite activities, and then putting them together so they all look nice together. Obviously I had to find a theme because whenever I make a present I like for it to have a theme so everything fits together and I chose the theme hot air balloon with little friends who all come together to greet the newborn baby and say hello. That was my idea behind it and I got all these different items to make it happen and can't wait to share this with you. It was quite difficult to pick the right items. One reason was because I have no idea what babies like and on the other hand, there's just so many items to pick from, it's incredible. At the same time, I wanted everything to fit into a gift basket and I got the basket right away. So I had to make sure that the things that I was getting weren't too big to fit into the basket without actually seeing the things. Obviously, I got some diapers, also this baby elephant and this handy machine to mix something to eat and a bunch of socks and other little items that we're going to discover in a bit. For this present idea, I wanted to use some items that are not just cute but also useful. And the first item that came into my mind in that regard were obviously diapers. However, diapers aren't very nice to look at, so I decided to open them up and wrap them individually. And not just wrap them with gift paper, but make them look cute. And you're going to see what I mean by that. Before I share the idea with the diapers, let me first show you how I made this little teddy bear that I'm very proud of. I thought little hand towels can always come handy so I decided to get a bunch of hand towels and as I said before it is quite boring to just put a bunch of hand towels into a gift basket for that reason I made this little teddy bear. As you can see it's pretty easy to be made. You just have to be a bit patient and make sure you push and pull for a bit for the ears, the arms and the body to come together. I had some spare hair ties that I no longer use so I decided to use those to mark the ears, the arms and the hand. In addition, I thought it looks much too boring for the bear to be left like that, so I used some ribbon in order to make a bow in front. The other thing I added were some plastic eyes that I glued on, and of course you know I love pom-poms, so I had to get a little pom-pom in order to mark the nose. And that's how the little bear came to life, and I repeated exactly the same process for the little bears in different colors, just because I wanted to have a bunch of different bears that I could use to decorate the gift basket. If you ever end up making these bears yourself, you can use any size of towel to do them. Just make sure that the hair ties or whatever you use, the plastic bands, are rigid enough and don't break easily. And then you can use whatever spare parts you have at home to make the nose and the eyes. That was the teddy bear. Let us continue with the diapers. As I mentioned earlier, I think that a baby shower present should have diapers, at least a few. For that reason, I got them and realized how much space they take. They would never have fit inside my gift basket. So instead, I decided to make these little gnomes using socks as the little hats and putting them on top of the diapers in order for it to look like a gnome that is wearing a hat. Once again, I used the hair ties in order to put everything together on top so it holds a bit better and looks nicer. And then I made use of my leftover felt in order to mark the body of the little gnome. I thought it would look nice if each gnome was wearing different colored clothing. For that reason, I chose one felt color per gnome and added on another hair tie in order to secure everything together. I didn't use any glue for that process because I wanted the diapers to be able to be used afterwards. For that reason, I wanted to make sure that they're easily taken apart and that would have been much harder had I used glue. Of course I could use glue in order to put the little button on top of the clothing since that would be taken off anyway and the only part where the glue couldn't be avoided at all in my opinion were the eyes which I definitely wanted to stick on. But that's the only part and I thought that's okay and you can easily take them off if you want. Finally I used a sharpie in order to add on the mouth and make sure that each of them has a nice hairstyle by using a different colored hair tie on top and that finalized a little gnome. I repeated the whole process for each gnome and as I said each of them has a different colored piece of clothing so I matched the button and the hair ties accordingly. I think they look awesome and even if you just want to give a little present I would really encourage you to make one of these little gnomes since they look so adorable even if you just give them as a present by themselves. Aren't the 
teddy bear and the gnomes just so cute. I absolutely love how they turned out. And my next project with diapers was a little horse. The horse took a bit more time since it's bigger than the previous two things that I showed you. I used all my DIY supplies I had at home anyway, so I didn't have to buy anything. And I do encourage you, if you do make the same thing, just to use whatever you have at home already. There's no need to use exactly the same items that I was using. Just pick whatever you have at home and I'm sure it will look fantastic in the end. I decided to make a little horse because I thought that the parts are pretty straightforward. First I made the legs and I made sure that everything is put together tightly otherwise it just looks too big because those diapers take up so much space it's incredible and it just doesn't look cute if the horse is too big in my opinion. What you currently see me putting together is the head. Just make sure you take your time and think through how many parts you need and then it's time to put them together. It's actually quite easy if you use a lot of strings and ropes or whatever you have available to just make sure everything sits tightly and doesn't fall off immediately. Since I had a lot of things left that I could use for being creative, I decided to make some accessories for the little horse and that's what you see me doing here. You can make whatever you like. This is just an idea. If you run out of ideas, you can always ask me in the comment section below and I have a lot of ideas that I would love to share with you if you end up making any of the ideas mentioned in this video. As you can see, I used some sticks in order to make sure everything holds together in the same direction because I realized if I don't use sticks and only ropes, it's not as rigid and might fall apart easily during transportation. To make the horse look a bit more colorful, I added some leftover felt that I had in brown and then I tried my best to put everything together. I used a lot of ropes as you can see, but I don't think it looks that bad. However, I made sure to use some felt in order to give him some clothing. At the same time, I wanted to make sure that the strings are somewhat hidden. It would be much more obvious had I left the strings without a little green felt cover on top. As with my previous project, I wanted to make sure that the diapers can actually be used. So I used a lot of strings to put everything together. However, there's not much glue besides the eyes as you will see in a bit. And that means that the diapers can be taken apart easily and can be used so nothing is wasted. I'm also quite proud of the little ears and the eyes that I mounted on. And as you can see, I added on some last minute accessories because I personally prefer colorful things to just plain looking white diapers, but that's just me. It did take quite a lot of time to put it together. However, that was mainly because I added on so many accessories. If you don't have much time left, you can absolutely make a horse without any of the accessories that I added on. And I'm sure it will look awesome. The last thing I wanted to add was the little tail. I think that couldn't be missed. I'm not sure if a horse actually has a tail like that, but I thought it looked cute, so I just ended up making one like this. As you see, I do have a lot of leftover pieces that I wanted to get rid of, and I thought it looks much nicer if this little horse has a lot of ribbons and colorful items, and of course, the hair couldn't be missed. I added that on top and that finalized my project little horse. Now have a quick look at the horse from every direction. Isn't it cute? We will see if it will stay like that or if someone would actually take it apart to use the diapers. After spending some time putting all these things together that I just showed you, the next step was to do some traditional gift wrapping. I found extremely cute gift wrapping paper and I used it to wrap a couple of items so they don't take up so much space. In the end, as you know, my aim is to get a hot air balloon gift basket together so I couldn't have only cute things put together, otherwise it would just be too big. As you can imagine, the gnomes, the teddy and the horse do take up a lot of space. And since I had already bought the basket that I'm going to use to put all the things together, I had to make sure that the other things were wrapped more traditionally so that they all fit into the gift basket. Number one that I had to wrap is this pink plate. It is out of plastic and you can put on the different dishes. It's very adorable to look at, I thought, so I got that. In addition, you see I purchased this gift wrapping paper with a giraffe on top of it. I thought it gives it a very cute vibe and I thought it fits very well with all the other items that I got. The second item is this pair of chopsticks for kids. Isn't it so cute? It has a little spaceman on top that helps you to keep both sticks together, which is very difficult for the little kids, obviously, when they try it for the first time. And I think it looks just so cute. Also, I got some different wrapping paper, which has zoo animals on top of it. And again, I thought it fits very well together. Item number three helps babies to learn how to eat different sorts of things such as fruits that are put together in a mixer and I think it looks adorable. It also fits very well into the color scheme and I chose a different wrapping paper again with different zoo animals since this is my theme. The next item is an adorable duck. 
I think it just looks fantastic and I'm absolutely fond of it. Besides looking cute, it can be used so that babies learn how to use their teeth. And of course, the main reason why I got it is because it just looks so cute. I didn't want to choose the same wrapping paper twice, hence I went for this dotted wrapping paper instead. In addition, I got this pair of socks. As you can see, it came in quite a cute casing and that was the main reason why I got it, because it looks like a little pet coming out of its nest. The last item I would like to share with you is this blanket with a penguin on top of it. Isn't it so cute? And in addition, I got all these bathtub animals so that the baby can have a lot of fun while taking a bath. I picked this really cute elephant, but I thought somehow he was missing some accessories. What I did is add a bunch of accessories to the elephant so that he is perfect for the occasion of arriving at a baby shower. I decided to use all my leftover supplies as for the previous projects. As you can see, I'm using my leftover felt and some leftover pom-poms in order to make some balloons for the little elephant. Also, I used a ribbon in order to give it a bow. I think now it looks much more adorable and I think it just looks much more creative than a plain elephant. Again, I'm mainly doing this video to give you some inspiration and you don't have to do every single element that I did. You can just pick a few depending on how much time you have left and I'm sure it will look fantastic. Finally, the moment of truth has arrived and I have to make sure that all these items fit into the gift basket. That's what I did next and I had to be very careful because as you know, I got the gift basket already so I had to make sure that all the things I just wrapped would fit inside, otherwise I would be in a lot of trouble. I started off the bottom with some paper tissues, the main reason being the basket is rather tall and I didn't want everything to be towards the bottom, I wanted it to be seen easily. Then I put in the machine that can be used to make some little fruit smoothies and I added the other presents as I saw fit. Basically where I saw a little hole I added some socks and the other little animals that I put together. Once I had done all of that the next step was to add the teddy bear and the gnomes which I did alongside the basket and finally it was time to get started with the hot air balloon. I added the hot air balloon using some sticks. As you can tell that looked much too boring for me so I wanted it to look a bit more colorful hence I added on these different colored patches from either side and in the end I cut out some circles out of different colored paper in order to stick it on top of the hot air balloon and I added on a light from the inside so that everything can shine at night as well. And this is what the lamp looks like from the inside. It's quite tiny but it does the job. Finally I have put everything together and let's have a quick look at what it looks like right now. Unfortunately I'm not good at taking in-depth videos or pictures for that matter but I hope you can see that the basket ended up being pretty filled and I was lucky that everything fit inside. Also the light inside the hot air balloon makes for a very nice effect I think and I hope it will be an appreciated present in the end. Here another follow up picture of what it looks like at night. Isn't this so adorable? I think it looks lovely and I can't wait to give this away as a present. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something about how to make a present for a baby shower. Maybe you can use some of the elements that I showed you in order to make your own baby shower present or maybe you want to make exactly the same hot air balloon. I would love to know so if you end up doing any of those things just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'm going to link a few videos above so you can check them out as well. I can't wait to see you in my next video. See you soon. Bye.